Fred Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum in Liberty, Kentucky, fredmccoy.com or hatfieldsmccoysmuseum.com. This is going to be a short video. I know I've said that before and all of a sudden they linger on, but I'll try to make it short. This, this is a another keeping it real video and I don't have to elaborate on this one a lot. Anybody that's into the Hatfield McCoy feud or history is going to remember hearing where Devil Lance Hatfield took on and defeated a whole company of Union soldiers during the Civil War at the Devil's Backbone. Well, uh, it's too numerous to uh, try to name all of them or any of them. Uh, it's in books. It's in many, many books throughout the years uh, that Devil Lance Hatfield all by himself took on a company. Now, if you don't know how many men are in a company, there was 100 men to a company. So they're saying that Devil Lance Hatfield during the Civil War took on 100 men and uh, killed them all at the Devil's Backbone uh, while he was in the Civil War. Uh, I don't think I have to elaborate on that a lot. I mean, I know there's a lot of Devil Lance uh, fans out there uh, that he's a hero to a, a bunch of people. Uh, but believe it or not, believe it or not, as sick as it may sound, so is Jeffrey Dahmer and Charles Manson. I mean, th there's people out there that actually like uh, those people. Uh, sad but true. So uh, my point would be here, and uh, just made a, another video in the past on keeping it real and you can look at the background we, we didn't even move I just picked up this <clears throat> this notation here about where somebody had made a comment about the uh, 100 men that he had killed and once again I would ask for uh, for proof I would ask for military records accommodations wouldn't you think that uh, one soldier one soldier that killed 100 men all by himself why he's deserted, no less. Uh, it'd be pretty hard to do while you're deserted, but I, I won't go into that. I challenge anybody, I would like to see the, the record on this. I would like for somebody to correct us and show us that uh, there's an accommodation, there's something that uh, would validate these stories that started from Hatfield authors, no less, and they were carried from Hatfield authors to no authors that were from Connecticut or uh, Tennessee or whatever that copied off other people's books to write their own books so they could say they wrote a book and or get on the History Channel and laugh and grin and carry on like a... Anyway, that concludes this segment. She's looking at me. You, you know you know when I'm going down one road and, and I change all of a sudden that uh, I'm getting that eagle eye back there to straighten up. She wants her videos nice and neat and clean. She doesn't mind me correcting the record, but I've got to do it a specific way. So uh, thanks for joining us. It's Fred and Sheila McCoy. We'll talk to you next time.